During the Great Depression especially, Will Rogers brightened the world. But today, black and white is a buzzkill. I do know that America is fundamentally liberal. In his day, Oklahoma's Will Rogers was the most famous man in the world. Radio and film star, author, humorist, cowboy, man about the world. But for the most part, his legacy is a black and white one. Which is why children's laughter sounds so sweet to Jennifer Rogers Echeverry, Will Rogers' great-granddaughter. Well, it is a challenge because um, as the generations go on, less and less people know who he was. Growing up in California, Jennifer didn't know much about her great-grandfather. Then her grandfather, Will's youngest son, took the family to New York to see the Will Rogers Follies on Broadway. Just speechless. I had no idea. And even though that was a musical and, it, you know, a little fiction in there, I just wanted to learn more. And I came back to California and started shadowing my grandfather. Now she's in Claremore at least four times a year, taking a leading role in overseeing the memorial, which is about to enter a brand new phase. There's more technology coming to engage a new generation. So all kinds of technology of interaction uh, with Will Rogers and uh, the people of his time. So I think it's gonna be a fun adventure for us for the future. A modern future for a beautiful 70 year old building and the Oklahoman it celebrates, who once commanded the world. There's just so much to learn, you know, I'm still learning. The memorial is about to enter its winter schedule when it's closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Scott Thompson, too, works for you.